everybody Riley here for another episode of fish keeping jamaica welcome to my channel okay so today we'll be talking about the breeding of black skirt tetra the principles are similar to that of breeding tiger barbs barbs in particular and other types of tetra okay so the first thing i do is to get uh and you don't have to be getting a lot of tetra so as to breed tetra you just need at least two uh and uh, and, and it's optional you can't even get one one uh, female tetra the females are normally larger than the males right now you will know when the females are ready to actually you know lay eggs um, by looking at the, 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 the tummy as you can see with this black skirt tetra um, the tummy is really fat it's really filled with eggs and the males are smaller in size than the females now the males uh this one looks a little gorgeous at the tummy don't it but it's a male right okay so what i did was to actually purchase some black skirt stature at the pet shop i purchased several in particular three males and five females and this is because i want to probably get a, a stock of about 100 black skirt tetra uh fries and uh you know give or take you might have some spoilage okay so i'm i intend to keep those breed those and actually trade the the babies uh whenever time comes around okay so i get the male and the female as i say i have four females and three and three males okay now on purchasing these these fish i ensure that i had two separate spaces for them and I, i'm going to explain the reason why okay so the first thing is i place all the female uh black skirt tetra uh in one aquarium by themselves then i place uh, uh then i place the the male uh black skirt tetra in another aquarium i also have a third aquarium where which i refer to this as the breeding aquarium right now this breeding aquarium is where i will actually take a uh, female black skirt tetra and a male black skirt tetra and i will place them into this basket that you're seeing now and uh, they will be placed in the basket and the basket will be submerged into uh the water and it will stay there for a, a few days now uh before i actually do that what i did was to actually feed these fish with high prote protein fish food and in a video in which i did uh a few days ago you i shared the importance of high protein fish food in breeding aquarium fish all right so i fed them that for about two or three weeks and i selected a female and i selected a male and i actually placed both in the basket uh for about three days well it, it took three days for the miracle to happen but it, it can be overnight it, it, it depends on how fat the female is and what, what you'll find is that for a while they will try to you know uh investigate where they are you know examine the, the the space and all that but after a few hours what you will realize is that um there will be what you call a chasing period now this chasing period is a period where in which the eggs are actually released by the way the female in tetra releases a hormone saying that the eggs are practically ready to be laid as a result of that uh, hormone the male actually go frantic and the male starts to chase the female all around in the basket now as the male chase the female around the basket eggs are expelled from the female black skirt tetra's body and uh they, they as the eggs are released the the, the, the male actually release what you call a mint similar to what you call semen sperms for the male right okay now this mint uh clashes with the how should i say combines with the egg um to what you call what you call um fertilization of the egg and as a result of that the eggs are fertilized and they are able to mature into free swimming fries now um uh, after the the, the, the fries are free swimming they look very tiny very fine uh they, they, i think in my estimation uh both the tetra fries and the the beta fries 
are similar in size very tiny the difference between the beta fries are that the beta fries are normally dark in color but the tetra fries are, are, are usually white in color okay so the fries are there uh, probably you won't be able to see the fries because what, what they do is they actually cling to the side of the aquarium Wrigglers, uh, yeah, wrigglers. I wouldn't say free swimmers. I would say wrigglers uh, within less than uh, 48 hours Right. Sometimes it depends on the temperature. Uh, they can become wrigglers, uh, meaning that they hatch uh, within 24 hours. Now, a point to note: as soon as the chasing have actually subsided um, in the basket, it would be wise for you to actually remove the the, the, the the male and the female tetra and place them in separate spaces. Now, what will happen if you do not? place them in separate spaces is that the male will continue although there's no egg right uh the, the, the female refuse to release any more eggs um the male will continue to chase the female until the female stresses herself and eventually dies and because you don't want that you want other um fries in the future you just separate them right and that's the reason why i actually separate the male black skirt tetra from the female black skirt tetra all right so the fries are there and within probably about a week or two the fries will be coming become a little bit more free swimming so you'll see them swimming in the water space but for now they'll be clinging to the glass right as you can see there are several uh what you, call it? you said several dozen eggs on the on the base of the aquarium as you're seeing right uh chances are some of these eggs will not uh mature or should i say will not hatch because probably the mint doesn't never reach it in time or uh, it never reach it none at all right or you know as within every case of of fish keeping you always have a small percentage of eggs being spoiled now uh you'll keep the the fries in a separate container from the parents because the parents well that is the adult male and the adult female will consume uh, the, the fries if they do get a hang of it and that's one of the reasons why and that's the primary reason why you will remove them from the basket after removing them from the basket you remove the basket and i wouldn't advise you placing neither sponge filter nor any type of filter that have them in bounce around what i did was to just place a, a air hose within the water and and that air hose does ox serve as an oxygenation uh, mechanism for the aquarium and uh over time what i'll do i'll introduce filtration system but for the time being because the fries are so fragile i will um i will not introduce any filtration system which will encourage them to be pulled or dragged or pushed across the tank uh so this is how i breed black skirt stature and you can try that too also you can use this mechanism to breed uh, other barbs, um, other um, species of fish such as tiger barbs and filament barbs. This is really here for another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Thank you very much for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I hope that this video, I hope that this video was of interest to you. Peace.